Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us for another episode of Real Talk with Team Big Cat. Well, as you know, you know, we spoke about in the intro about many different um, variety services that Big Cat has, the community, the family. Well, now let's get into a little bit of the products that we have to offer, some top quality goalkeeping gloves. Um, right now, we're going to talk about the Big Cat Pro 2.0s. Um, tell us a little bit about them, uh, Neil. Uh, yeah, so uh, first of all, talk about the, the, the packaging. Uh, we went back to our original colorways. Uh, in regards to our logo, which was uh, black, black, white, and gold, um, the first ever big cat logo was that, and uh, we wanted to go back to our, our heritage, so to speak. Um, the 2.0, the, the, the Pro has been on the market for some time now. Uh, we we just did it with different colours and whatever else. But our goalkeepers, being the, the the trendy, stylish goalkeepers that they are, the the the, the guys and the girls asked for something a little bit more. Something a little bit more sleek, something more classy, and uh, which I thought was quite fun for the you know a younger generation wanting wanting something more uh, you know more elegant yeah. you know, in regards to a glove. So you know as you, as you can see with the glove, we actually removed a lot of the a lot of the the, the branding uh, off the glove. You know we used to have like the the big cat website and everything on the palm. You know we had. Uh, we had Big, like big US logos on the on the pinky finger, and uh, you know our our name all over the glove, yeah. and then on and then on the side of the glove we used to have like pro and big bright mm -hmm. letters and, and whatever else. So we went just simple black and white uh, with the with the BCG on the on the pinky and uh, the black and white uh, logo. Um, very very sleek, very elegant glove. It's a negative it's a negative fit glove. Um, you know, so it fits a little bit more neat to the hand. Okay. Uh, top top glove. Uh, you know, we made we made some upgrades to the to the latex. Uh, we have some great sound coming from outside. Yeah. Uh, we have birds singing. We have, uh, we have some construction by the sounds of it. Um, but yeah, we made a you know we made the the latex better. We we, we actually used a, a contact uh, latex. Um, so as you can see, when the glove—I don't know if you can see on the camera—but when the glove arrives, it actually comes with the, you know, with the plastic film. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to use a, a Giga Latex, which is also a top latex. Um, it's one of those things. I mean, with gloves, it's always about what you prefer. Yeah. I don't think that in anything, in whether it's like a player wanting leather boots or he wants uh, the synthetic boots, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a matter of preference. Uh, we opted for the contact latex on this model, and uh, yeah, you know, it, it, just some of the features on the glove, they are removable uh, finger saves. Mm -hmm. Our finger saves, we don't use zips, and the reason why I don't use a zip is just because I feel like, one, it can be an easy thing to malfunction on, yeah. a, on a product. Uh, the other thing is, even if it's tucked away nice, I just think that the, having the metal on the glove isn't really the best thing from a safety standpoint. Uh, and also, I think that it keeps the glove, um, you know, very sleek by having the, the Velcro, the Velcro um, opening for the for the finger protection. Pretty easy to remove the finger protection. Very easy to remove. Very easy to put back inside. Um, again, it's all about preference. A lot of our, uh, you know. Myself uh, uh, and a lot of goalkeepers nowadays, uh, it's kind of a full cycle. I, I think the, the majority of goalkeepers actually don't want to use finger saves yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is pretty funny because when I was playing, we never used them and then finger saves were all the rage. Yeah. Um, but you know, why not make, why not add them in when yeah. we can take them out? You know what I mean? So uh, we fit both sides of the, we care for both needs. Um, and, and, and yeah, that, that's that's kind of what the, the, how the two point the, the specs of the two point Well, I know you mentioned the negative cut. You know exactly what, why the negative cut, and what benefits does it have to offer on the Pro two point oh? So with the negative cut, and and why I chose this actually negative cut. If anything knows anything about our like, history, our, you know since two thousand and eleven when we started uh, getting into the. When we opened as a company and went to the glove game, the um, negative cut was actually the cut that uh, I had been exposed to um, when I was wearing a different brand uh, back in the day uh, playing. 
and I was always fascinated by it. Um, I actually, the one I was using didn't have the latex on the inside of the fingers, like you can see here, this is latex. Some of them have the web. Huh? Yeah, they, they had more of the web uh, stuff, um, which I'm cool with. I think it's nice, I think it's still nice. I wanted that like, original glove though to have the latex no, on the latex. side. Um, I had always worn growing up the, I mean I wore every type of glove, but I mean, <laughs> my, my preference at the time uh, was more of a rule finger, uh, or gun cut as they call it yeah. here. Um, but as time went on, I think that the evolution of the, the negative cut was <coughs> kind of ticked all the boxes for me, uh, all around support, with the, uh, as far as like um, feeling secure that I gr grip on all yeah. areas of the ball. Um, it had the snugness of a, you know, it had a, a snugness of, a, of what was unique to a negative glove, but it also had the support of what I'd, I'd only find really in a, in a roll finger glove. Um, but f with the feeling, with the feeling on the ball of a, a flat palm, I think that, the, that there's no better feeling of touching the ball with a flat palm glove. You can feel the ball well. Um, so, you know, that's why the negative was so appealing because I got that, but I got the, the support and the, and the, the reassurance of the, you know, the, the, the grip, depending on the angle of the ball, um, from the, like what would have been typical of a roll finger style glove. Was all those boxes were checked with this? With this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very fantastic glove. Um, been able to use you know different uh, styles of, of your glove. You know the when the, you do happen to leave the finger saves in, I think it's a, it's very flexible, comfortable. Um, you can, as you can yeah, see, you can move, um, yeah, right move them fine. I know when they first came out with the finger saves, your hands were basically yeah. stiff. You know, couldn't really move them, but they're they're really comfortable. I, I, I same thing. I've gone back to the no finger saves, uh, you know, so definitely a really comfortable glove. Um, anything else you'd like to add on it? Uh, I just think that the, from a price point, I mean, you're looking at a, like an $80, $79.99 glove, and then obviously, um, I just think for, for that price, at this quality, for the, level of, for the level of style, and you've been like a, Again, it's very universal, you know, as far as the style, you can go with any uniform, yeah. you know, any, any, it'll match any cleats, whatever. I think you're getting a, a top glove, you're looking professional on the field, from the, I, I just think it's a, well, it's my, it, this, this is like my baby, you know, it falls <laughs> like my baby. I love this glove. Um, so yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend, I definitely re recommend all of our gloves, but, because <clears throat> that's why we designed them, if I did recommend them, I wouldn't put my, uh, you wouldn't see a big cat logo on it, you know. Um, but no, I think for $80, it's a uh, top, top end glove. To steal, huh? To steal. Yeah. And why, why spend all that money on goalkeeper gloves, especially that this is, you know, I would feel comfortable with keep putting this on any player at any level. And at the same time, I think for the price, you can be at any stage of your career and still get this type of glove. Yeah. You, know? you know, obviously, if you're under 11 and down, like, you don't need this level of glove. But, you know, until the 12 and up, if you want to top, if you want to be exposed to a, a good uh, top standard glove for a more of a, a somewhat entry level price. And this is it. Yeah. You know, this is this is the this is the glove. Why spend two hundred bucks on glove? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, I like the packaging. Um, you know, it's not one of those packaging where two gloves are in one. You know, yeah. you open it up, uh, very separate, and you can see they have the ventilation. So very easy to just open it up, let okay. the hair out. And the ball, yeah. 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 No, the, the, design of the design of the packaging was so we can like hang the glove yeah. up. I mean, the, the mesh, the glove can air yeah. out, like you said. Um, yeah, the, yeah, we have a very good design, to be honest with you. He's top, he's top. And then, uh, obviously, with the glove, the gloves now, I mean, we started talking more about our, uh, more of our slogan, uh, which is something that evolved over time. We decided that uh, fear less, dominate more was a good message. Um, I think there's a lot of, a lot of players and a lot of, people that are, are ruled by fear in this game. Yeah. Whether, I know this, this might go off on a tangent away from the glove a little bit, but I think the gloves are a good way to deliver the message. Um, they, they run by fear, like you have to get do this, this and this to get college recruitment. You have to do this, this and this to be this type of player. And there's tryouts everywhere and all these different things. And the reality is, I mean, if you're good and you've got talent, you play your game, 
Don't be scared. Don't be real bad for you. Be the, like, don't, don't, be, don't. If, if you're following the masses, you're probably just going to be one more. You're yeah, going to use yeah. part of the cognitive system. Sometimes don't be scared to go against the grain a little bit. You've got all the resources right now. Look at us now. We're making a video. <laughs> go make a video if you're yeah. self-training. Make your own college recruitment video. Get it out there. You know, promote yourself. It's it's important as a player. Well, definitely speaking on that, the fear less, dominate more. You know, just. Like you said, go out there, promote yourself. Worst case scenario, what's going to happen? A no. If you don't do it, it's a no. If you do it, exactly. it's, you never know what's going to happen. Just get out there. Exactly. Fearless. Dominate more. Real talk. Team Big Cat. Go keep it.